Introduction Welcome to today's lecture on the histology of the autonomic nervous system. In this lecture, we will explore the intricate details of the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions of the autonomic nervous system. We will examine the structure and function of various components, the effects on different organ systems, neurotransmitter regulation, pharmacology, and clinical disorders associated with this complex system. Let's begin our journey into the microscopic world of the autonomic nervous system. Sympathetic preganglionic neurons originate from the intermedial lateral cell columns of the thoracic and lumbar spinal cord. These neurons possess long myelinated axons that exit the spinal cord via the ventral roots and travel through the white Rami communicantes. Within these preganglionic axons, we observe a dense network of nissl bodies, indicating a high level of protein synthesis required for neurotransmitter production. These neurons synapse with the sympathetic ganglia, where they transfer signals to postganglionic neurons. Sympathetic ganglia are strategically positioned along the sympathetic chain, which runs alongside the vertebral column. These ganglia can be classified into three types, paravertebral ganglia, prevertebral ganglia, and terminal ganglia. Paravertebral ganglia are located bilaterally and extend from the base of the skull to the tip of the coccyx. Prevertebral ganglia are located anteriorly to the vertebral column, while terminal ganglia are localized near target organs. The sympathetic ganglia consist of multipolar postganglionic neurons surrounded by satellite cells, providing structural and metabolic support. Immunohistochemical staining reveals the presence of neuropeptide Y and other neurotransmitters within the ganglia. Sympathetic postganglionic neurons receive signals from preganglionic neurons in the sympathetic ganglia. These neurons possess short, non-myelinated axons that extend to target organs. They release neurotransmitters such as norepinephrine, responsible for transmitting sympathetic signals to target cells. Postganglionic neurons differ among distinct organs, with variations in morphology, neurotransmitter composition, and receptor profile. The sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system exerts profound effects on multiple organ systems. We observe sympathetic innervation in the cardiovascular system, where increased heart rate, vasoconstriction, and elevated blood pressure occur. In the respiratory system, sympathetic stimulation leads to bronchodilation and increased airflow. Sympathetic influence on the gastrointestinal system includes reduced motility, sphincter contraction, and decreased secretion. Moreover, sympathetic activation plays a role in the regulation of body temperature, pupil dilation, and piloerection. The adrenal medulla represents a unique structure regulated by sympathetic innervation. Sympathetic preganglionic neurons directly innervate the adrenal medulla, bypassing the synapse in the sympathetic ganglia. Activation of these neurons leads to the release of neurotransmitters, including acetylcholine, which stimulates chromaffin cells in the medulla. These chromaffin cells release epinephrine and norepinephrine into the bloodstream, amplifying the effects of sympathetic stimulation throughout the body. Parasympathetic preganglionic neurons originate mainly from the brainstem and sacral spinal cord. Cranial parasympathetic fibers emerge from the cranial nerves, including the oculomotor, facial, glossopharyngeal, and vagus nerves. Sacral parasympathetic fibers arise from S2-S4 spinal segments. These preganglionic neurons extend long, myelinated axons to synapse with postganglionic neurons located in peripheral ganglia. Parasympathetic ganglia are located near or within target organs. Unlike sympathetic ganglia, parasympathetic ganglia are either terminal or intramural, resulting in shorter postganglionic fibers. Terminal ganglia are situated close to target structures or within their walls. Intramural ganglia are embedded within the walls of the target organ, allowing for precise parasympathetic control. The structure of parasympathetic ganglia resembles sympathetic ganglia, with multipolar postganglionic neurons surrounded by satellite cells. Parasympathetic postganglionic neurons receive signals from preganglionic neurons in parasympathetic ganglia. These neurons have short, non-myelinated axons that innervate target organs. Acetylcholine is the primary neurotransmitter released by parasympathetic postganglionic neurons, mediating the transmission of parasympathetic signals. The parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system elicits distinct effects on various organ systems. In the cardiovascular system, parasympathetic stimulation leads to decreased heart rate and vasodilation. The respiratory system experiences bronchoconstriction and decreased airflow under parasympathetic influence. Parasympathetic activation also enhances gastrointestinal motility and secretion, while promoting mucus production and bladder contraction. The autonomic ganglia play a crucial role in modulating neurotransmitter release and regulation. Within these ganglia, acetylcholine acts as the primary neurotransmitter released by preganglionic neurons, activating postganglionic neurons. In the sympathetic division, norepinephrine is the main neurotransmitter released by postganglionic neurons. 
Conversely, in the parasympathetic division, postganglionic neurons release acetylcholine onto target cells. Understanding the pharmacology of autonomic drugs is crucial for managing clinical conditions associated with the autonomic nervous system. Sympathomimetic drugs mimic sympathetic activation, such as epinephrine and norepinephrine. Sympatholytic drugs, on the other hand, block sympathetic responses, and examples include beta blockers. Parasympathomimetic drugs mimic parasympathetic activation, such as muscarinic agonists, while anticholinergic drugs block parasympathetic responses. Numerous clinical disorders can affect the autonomic nervous system, leading to dysregulation of sympathetic and parasympathetic activities. Diseases like autonomic neuropathy, dysautonomia, and Horner syndrome result in impaired autonomic function, disrupting vital bodily processes. These conditions manifest with symptoms ranging from cardiovascular abnormalities to gastrointestinal dysfunction and abnormal sweating. In conclusion, the autonomic nervous system is a complex network that regulates and maintains homeostasis in our bodies. By understanding the histological components, function, and clinical implications of the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions, medical professionals can diagnose and manage various autonomic disorders effectively. These microscopic details provide a foundation for advanced studies and clinical interventions aimed at restoring autonomic balance, ultimately improving patient health and well-being. Thank you for joining me in this comprehensive exploration of the histology of the autonomic nervous system.